Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how user interface scaling works and looks on the Huion Canvas Pro 16 2.5K. So that's the resolution on this 15.8 inch display. And here is a 15.6 inch display with 1080p resolution for comparison purposes. Since I cannot run the same software on both displays, I have Adobe Photoshop here and Adobe Illustrator here on the right side. Currently, I have the two displays running at native resolution. And from what I can see, the user interface elements on the 1440p display here, those UI elements like the text, the icons, the buttons, the palettes, they are too small personally for me to see comfortably. On the 1080p display, the UI elements are noticeably larger and easier to see. However, because this is 1080p on a 15.6 inch display, pixelation is quite noticeable. On the Huion Canvas Pro, pixelation is not noticeable from the same distance away, but because the UI elements are too small, I have to scale up the UI elements. So I have just scaled this to 125% so that the text and the buttons are larger, and this was scaled to 150%. Pixelation is still noticeable on the 1080p display, but on the Huion Canvas Pro 16 2.5K, the text is now larger, but the text is still very sharp. Zoom works fine with Photoshop on Windows at all the different scaling levels. By working fine, I mean when you zoom this far at 100%, which is what I'm doing right now, you will get a true one-to-one -one pixel representation. So you can see this 1440p file uh, fills this 1440p display. I feel like I have to mention this because um, there are some issues with Zoom with Photoshop on macOS. With macOS, you have to scale the UI as well, otherwise the text, the palettes, the buttons are all going to be too small. However, there are some issues with Zoom in Photoshop and Affinity Photo. So right now, this is without scaling, and this file here is 2560 by 1440. So this file actually fills the whole display because this is a 1440p file on a 1440p display. Now I'm going to scale the UI to make the UI larger. So the UI elements have increased in size, which is great. However, there is an issue with the zoom in Photoshop not being represented properly. So this file, this 1440p file is still at 100% zoom as you saw earlier. However, you can see this file is actually stretched beyond 100% of the display because this is the actual file and this is at 100%. A 1440p file should fill a 1440p display at 100%. This may or may not bother you depending on the work you do, but it bothers me because when I zoom at 100%, I want to see a one-to-one -one pixel representation. And when you say for web, the zoom here is also not accurate. This is obviously not a 1440p representation. Let's say you are designing for web and you need this file to be uh, half the width, 1280. So this is 1280 pixels wide according to this software, but 1280 wide is actually um, this, this width. I've done some calculation and measurements and 1280 pixels is this width. 1280 is half the width of the display. So, so this is obviously not 1280, even though it says it's 1280. Can this be a problem? Um, if you are designing for web, uh, if you want to design a graphics which is 1280 pixels wide, or whatever width, you won't see the actual width on the display with uh, scaling applied. When you switch back to no scaling, you get the true one-to-one -one 
pixel representation at 100%, but the UI elements are too small. And I kind of seem to change the UI elements from the Photoshop settings. Happens to Affinity Photo as well. So this is 100% zoom of a 1440p file in Affinity Photo. So this file is stretched beyond 1440p as well. Now I have mentioned the Photoshop zoom issues with macOS scaling in some of my other videos and there were people who mentioned that I know nuts about retina display, high DPI. Look, if there are no issues with Photoshop or Affinity Photo or macOS with scaling applied, then I won't be able to show you those issues. So the Photoshop zoom issue on macOS with scaling is something to take note of when you are using a display at this size 15.6, 15.8 or 16 inch with 1440p. This is of course not going to prevent you from doing your work. And if you happen to know of any fix or solutions that allow me to see true one-to-one -one representation at 100% zoom with Photoshop, with macOS, regardless of the scaling applied, let me know in the comment section below.